Welcome back guys in Coriamone. We are closing one of the miles with the Boston 11 here in uh, Fort Ventura with a very nice and beautiful sunshine in day. Enjoy the video and the review. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. New year, new me, turn it up a new degree I'm gon' make it to the top if it's the last thing I see Work hard every day, work hard, then we play I'll be doing everything in my own damn way Ain't nobody tell me shit, I'm on top of it Writing hits that make other people feel like writing hits We gon' get every little goal that we wanna get Never quit, we don't even know what it means to quit Let's meet the video as usual In three main chapters, power and condition of the also, midsole and upper, then my feeling, and uh, finally my conclusion. How so now? The outside is great, especially on the road. It has the continental rubber, so super rubber. Lasts longer than all the other shoes I've tested so far. And uh, it is very grippy, so basically, uh, you know, kind of terrains, of course, also in some dirty part due to the design pattern. It is not that stiff, so it's not like, uh, I don't know, the Hadio 7, for instance. It's it's the good rubber for all the different trainings, especially on the road after 100 miles. It's still in perfect conditions. So, very well done, Adidas. Midsole now. So, you got the midsole. I have to say, for uh, well, you already followed me for a while. I'm not used to to run in this uh, high stockade uh, shoes, um, but rather lower stockade shoes like the Hadi 7, for instance. Uh, at the beginning, uh, I felt the last strike from very stiff, especially uh, in the heel. But overall, uh, after more than 50 miles, it started to to be more comfortable. And uh, also the last strike pro, so this form that is softer and used by Adidas in all the races. Uh, it's it's in the true of the shoe, and it's very comfortable. Within the midst, uh, you have the energy rods in this case, not the torsion system. And the energy rods are these sticks uh, that are following your metatarsal bones. And uh, then you have also a plate in the heel. Well, I have to say that uh, it was not like in the Hadios Pro 2 or 3. I felt a little bit more in the forefoot. Uh, so I felt the sticks. A little bit, uh, maybe because uh, the last track pro is thinner in the forefoot, where the, the sticks I don't know, but it was kind of different than the other shoes. And uh, the sticks are very good in terms of dynamics. Uh, I checked again, nothing changed, so check them out in the preview, previous video review. Upper now. Let's come to the upper now. It is breathable, not super breathable like the Adios Pro. Uh, especially here in the Canary Island, I had the opportunity to test it better. Uh, I'm wearing normal socks and uh, yeah, early in the morning is fine. What I like of this upper is that it is very low, so you should not have a, a problem with the heels. The heel counter is perfect, so there are some paddings inside that uh, are ensuring you the foot lockdown and uh, the tongue. The tongue is thin with a central padding, uh, which ensures you uh, protection. It's very comfortable. It's a uh, gasseted tongue, so it doesn't slip or change position. Yeah, overall, it's a, a very nice upper. Uh, it doesn't have the second line second line of rings uh, uh, so if you want to adjust or if you have uh, 
thinner fit. It's not possible to adjust like in other shoes, like the Adidas 7, for instance. But I have a thin uh, fit, and uh, it's lockdown is okay. I would say it's not slippery at all in the heel. It's not annoying me in the in the forefoot. Uh, a little bit of uh, uh, more uh, upper uh, in the in the in the forefoot is wider than my feet, but. I would say overall it's a great upper. In conclusion, I would suggest the shoe for easy runs, uh, for some tempo run as well. It's not my favorite, I have to say, because for tempo run I prefer other shoes, like the Asik Sivora 2. I always mention this shoe, it's very nice, lighter, uh, more flexible still supporting very good the rolling motion the a Boston 11 is not that light so that's why I don't like this shoe especially for uh, long tempo runs but I prefer others but for easy runs I would say I could say that this is my daily trainer in the Adidas Adizilo lineup. I thought it was the Hessel, but it is not. Unfortunately, the Boston 11 could be my daily trainer, for sure. You know? Even though I'm used to run in the lower stockade, for easy run, I found it very comfortable and uh, also responsive when I want to, I don't know, do a progression, for instance, uh, at the end of my easy run. Then I found this this shoe responsive. Uh, therefore, I believe in the lineup. This is the model that I like uh, most uh, as a daily trainer. In conclusion, it's a shoe for a slow uh, running, and uh, I like that I found at least a daily trainer in the Adidas Adidas Zero lineup. I hope this guys was useful. And as usual, as usual, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe. It's very important for me and for the channel. We haven't reached yet the 1,000 subscribers, but we are growing. And thank you so much. And uh, I really appreciate it. So, see you in the next video review. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say